hello. Thank you for tuning in. I'm just going to be painting. It would be fun if you painted with me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Roman. <laughs> I really like to use paintbrushes. Oh, that much. I can't even use paintbrushes because it's too much control. Like, I just got to be like, it's interpret. <laughs> it's interpretive. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's an okay place to be in this interpretive world. You know, it's beautiful. It's um, well versed. So I'm going to use my fingers, but then use this, you know, um, as a backdrop. So then I can just go wild. And oh my god, perfect. That's exactly what I was gonna do. my painting like my experience painting no thoughts of here literally no idea what am i gonna make i just wing it and i'm always usually pretty satisfied with the end result but the other thing is is like i am creating to create to put something here the act of you know just me and this canvas like that that's why i'm doing and not the end result try and appreciate it for how it's going. Hope oh, that's the mindset we're gonna be having today in our paint sesh because thinking it's cool, no judgments, no rules, no fucking even thoughts, you know? We're just, all art should be that. I think I'm gonna go with something like wild. Okay, I love it. I think I'm gonna go with this. Um, it's like a purple. I love it. Oh, I literally put this finger. Anyway, so I guess this is the shade, it's kind of jelly-like. I'm just gonna go ahead because like there's literally no rules here. I have no fucking idea what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. You know, I, I say it's, okay, I'm gonna do that thing again and like it's done. But cause art is, you know, always in the works, you know, just like a haircut, you know, I'm always in the midst of creating. It's never completely done. Sometimes I walk my dog at night and I look down and it's like freshly rained or something. So there's like dew and there's dew. There's <laughs> huge shit everywhere. It's dew everywhere. Um, yeah, there's like um, dew on top of grass in the sense of like water, mist. And it sparkles under the street lights, and I find it so beautiful, poetic. I could write like a million poems about it in some regard, but I really won't because, like, I always say other things I'm doing. This. What am I creating? I don't even know. <laughs> my God, paint in my hair. Does it really matter though? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, it's kind of giving me like, I guess, kind of fire energy. You know, where are we? What kind of energy am I feeling for this? I don't know why, and maybe it's like a different life, or maybe it's just the dreamscape of where I would love to be, but I'm always like in some kind of big city, like watching you in like, maybe that is, I've been there before in some life that I was like, I see people watching, yeah. But like, or maybe that's future me just sitting, drinking coffee, which I would literally love just to be doing that. And in some regard, I'm doing that right now by making this scene. You know, I'm drinking my coffee, I'm painting my scene, I'm not actually drinking coffee but they have a coffee cup over there for the water don't cook okay, I'm gonna come into this color <laughs> I will a little bit like you just got it 
but here's the other thing about loving it. You know, you really have to be okay with giving it up, with losing it. You know, the things you love, you have to be all right with losing. Because ultimately, you still created something, you still grew. I'm still making this, even if it's gonna look different later, probably. Because, like, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Well, I don't think many people have any idea of what they're doing. And that's, like, the trick. It's, like, the people who act like they know what they're doing are actually know the least. So the trick is to either be upfront, be like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, it's cool to be vulnerable and stuff, but also, you know, you can't have the people who do act like they know what they're doing be like, oh, you don't know it, because like, but also, like, that's good vibes, like, go paint it out, because like, they're not painting it out, you know, they're like, you don't know what you're doing, because, wow. And really, I think this goes to this, and like, I just started openly paint. I mean, openly painting. I just, I, I just started painting more often, and I feel like it's because I really broke out of that whole like being. I was so afraid to be bad at things, or like, I guess not to be literally the best ever. That instead, I would like make up a whole perception of what went on. And stuff. So once I kind of broke out of that, and I was like, oh, you know, we're living to live, baby. We're painting to paint. It's just like, you go out and do it. Give up the, this perception that we need to be anything other than how we are. But I'm not even sure fully what is going on. But is anyone sure of what's going on? Ever. Literally ever. That's good ties back into that last thing. Like, literally, no one knows what the fuck they're doing. I mean, I, I guess some people literally do, but I think people who are that well-versed in something are like, yeah, I'm still learning. They're not like, I know everything. <laughs> Me, I say, I'm, I'm actually super fluent in finger painting. <laughs> I think I'm actually a professional, professional finger painting. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, I'm just feeling like I'm having fun. And that is the key. It's not about anything else. It's about the experience I'm having making this right now. You know, it doesn't need to be anything more complicated than, you know, just chilling with your homie, which is me, over here on this social platform. The World Wide Web. But, like, look at what we're creating together. Holy shit. Okay, I'm actually fucking obsessed with it. I love it. I know I've been saying it after everything I've done. So you're thinking, does she really love it? And the truth is I love all of it. <laughs> I loved every single one. That's the fun part of just like enjoying the journey rather than being like, oh, what am I creating? Because I used to be like sitting in front, like what am I creating? And now I'm like, no idea, literally no idea what I'm creating. But honestly, it's pretty fucking cool. Going, I'm one obsessed with it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's incredible. What a fun way for me to express my emotions. I'm really hoping that you made something similar. Not similar. We literally somehow made the same exact piece. <laughs> Just somehow. Well, it feels like that is a final resting place for me. I'm feeling incredibly moved by it. Really reset the piece. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it really could be literally anything. Like it almost feels like that circle dot right there is a moon. It's like people underneath it and so it's like it's, it's like cut off there, like almost a road. Maybe someone with a hat on, maybe a person with a beard. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so like... Oh wow, again, I'm seeing the birds up there. So it's like a tree, but I, there's more birds now. Wow, a beautiful family of birds. Wow, wow, okay. Kind of now feels a little river down here. Feels like some person, maybe a hat. Um, 
maybe something on the, on the river, maybe it's a, like a animal, the last way. Wow. Does this one feel different than the other one? So different. Like, again, people down there, again, it kind of has a mood, maybe a street light. Maybe, like, of a person. I don't know. Could literally be anything. Maybe the side of mountain. Oh, maybe that's a building or this is an on track. Looks like a little kid down here. Or a parrot with a hat on. <laughs> Could be anything. And that is really why I enjoy interpretive art because I'm like, no fucking rules, baby. We are always in the process of growing, changing, just existing, really. And coming back to the source, painting to it being okay with all of it the growth the changing you know what this was we really grown changed shifted rearranged lived existed in this probably a couple minutes we've been together and i think that's beautiful so beautiful so thank you for joining me and i really hope you you gain something from this maybe it was just like us being together painting and was like calming and you were like haha oh my gosh you're like oh my gosh you're so funny and i'm like thanks <laughs> anyway whatever you got from this honestly i hope you do go and try something new and look at this art different life different um but other than that really do what you want subscribe if you'd like like the video if you want to do that you know, comment, I would love some interaction because like conversing with people is cool. So yeah, well have a honestly an amazing experience wherever you are in whatever regard that is of growth. So, you know, I just hope you're having a uh, wondrous moment and I will see you whenever I stop by again. And <laughs> See you whenever I see you. So I will see you then. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Thank you for showing up, showing up. Thank you, my friend, for being here with me, with my painting, with everyone in the universe. Ooh, ooh. Wow. It's incredible. So it was very nice to see you and I will see you later. Bye.